Hey y'all. This is uh, Country Girl and Mari. All right. Told you I'm gonna do this um, Russian 24 hour. Um, I decided to go ahead and start it tonight, so because um, I know there's something in here I could possibly eat for breakfast in the morning. I believe there's a kasha in here, um, which I would probably like to have for breakfast. Now that I know that you're supposed to pay and fry it a bit, that's how I'll be doing it. Um, but I'm going to um, go ahead and open this. Um, Miss Marilyn Skull graciously gifted this to me, and she purchased it from foreignmre.com from Art and Nina. Now, please excuse that my tray is not here right now, but this is what the meal looks like. All right. Um, so I'm having to use some plates here, and um, I apologize for that. So we're just going to do this. Um, but let me go ahead and slice this open real quick. I'm going to open it with my rainbow knife and I'm gonna try to slice it from the back. Okay. So let's see what we got. got our sugars. They're very generous with their sugar in Russia. Um, this little slip of paper. Two things that we won't be using right now is our Espit stove with uh, fuel tabs and our windproof waterproof matches with a little striker. We won't be needing those because um, I'm doing this inside. We've got our pepper and our, oops, and our salt, which I might be using. Um, this is some kind of a hot drink. I did try to uh, Google Translate this and watch um, other people's Russian MRE 24-hour uh, ones on this. Um, I wasn't exactly sure what menu number this was, so I'm just kind of winging it somewhat. So, like, these three things here, uh, I think these might be moist towelettes that's what they feel like um, but I have had this tea before and this is really good and I am going to do one of these and I am this is the coffee I'll save this for in the morning this is a fruit bar I believe it said it was um, figs or something I got two spoons. My phone is messaging, so I'm sorry if that picks up. This is um, some kind of jelly. I'm not sure what kind it is because it wouldn't pick up. Um, this is a vegetable pate, I believe. Uh, I think this is the cream cheese. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is. I cannot remember what I what I read. Um, Google Translate is not 100% all the time. So this is um, beef. Oh, gosh. I want to say it said something about beef chunks or something. Um, but I'm probably save that for in the morning. Yep. There is kasha in here. This is a beef kasha. Um, we're going to save this. It's going to be my breakfast in the morning. Um, of course, you got or I got four of their crackers. I actually like the Russian crackers. Um, whoo, that one was opened. Sorry. <laughs> yes. I actually like these. I didn't know that was open. Um, I cannot remember which one of these is. One, of, Both of these are beef. So, um, I'm going to heat, um, one of these, I think, had vegetables with the beef, and one was just a big thing of beef. So, um, 
I might just go ahead and heat both of these up. Um, then we have, I think this is what it says what's in here, or I'm not sure, I don't read Russian, and I never thought to check that, uh, Google Translate that, um, that comes with a napkin. Kind of looks like the napkins we, we get here. Mm. And our water purification tablets are in here. So what I don't need, I'm going to go ahead and get back. I'm going to put two sugars in here. I'm going to put three of these crackers back in here. I'm going to go ahead and put our jam back in here because that will be good with breakfast. The fruit bar I'm going to put back in there for breakfast. As well as the kasha and whatever this beef chunk thing is. One spoon. I don't need any of these right now. The coffee, and this is a, a, a hot drink of some kind, but we're going to put that in the coffee in here for in the morning. So when you guys see me do my video in the morning, this is what it's going to be. So we're going to go ahead and put our breakfast plate away. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and slip these into over here by the stove. get my crackers. I'm just going to go ahead and use the ones that were already open. Some of these are cracked and broken, but that's okay. Um, let's put the salt and that's like pick it up and the pepper over here. This our napkin. Can y'all see over here? Let's see. Let me try to back y'all up just a little bit. So y'all can get a better, better view. Let's see here. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna take and put. I got some hot water over here in my um, in my kettle, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that in here. Now I know that this tea. Is really good. Um, so I am gonna save since they gave me two tea bags. I'm gonna want one of these in the morning. I am gonna save one for in the morning as well, so I can have a tea and a coffee. Uh, so I'll stick that up here. Um, but this tea is is really really good stuff. I really really like this tea a lot. I do remember from the last Russian one that I did. Um, that uh, the tea was very, very good. So we're just going to go ahead and stick that there. And I'm going to put the sugar over here. That one extra. So now we have a cream cheese and um, a vegetable pate. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Let's see if I can get it to bend up without breaking a nail off. Okay, let's see. I know sometimes you have to, there's the tab, cut around a little bit on some of these. Oh, oh nope, I was wrong. This is not a pate. Google Translate is not always 100%. This is a, a vegetable. It, it is vegetables. It's, it's almost like a chutney type thing. It's got little chopped um, vegetable stuff. I don't know if you can see that. Oops, sorry. Let me try to get you up here. So, it's got all these little vegetable chunks in it. Um, the stuff that the liquid that's in it's very, very greasy looking. So I'm gonna stick that 
over here, off to the side. Hold on. Yes. These are warming on the stove. I've got my stove, my eyes on my stove. Hold on one second. Yes! Scotty doesn't know that I'm filming, so hold on. Yes, I'm filming. I got these warming on the stove. It shouldn't take but just a few more minutes because they already start to feel warm on the top. Um, turn this one up just a little bit. Okay. Um, anyway, so that looks to be good. It's got um, a bunch of vegetables in it. I want to say, well, they gave me three napkins, so let's see. I want to say, I know there's tomatoes. It smells so good. Whatever this is smells really good. Um, but it's very, very greasy looking. Okay. And then I'm going to open this up. I believe this is cream cheese, y'all. Bear with me. Yep, it is. I'm just, that smells a lot better than the cheese I got last time. Now, the cheese I got last time was that yellow stuff. Kind of looked like Velveeta, but mine smelled like fish. So it might not have been good. But this actually smells really good like really good like this I could see putting some of that on one of those crackers with a little bit of that, uh, fruit vegetable stuff on top of it that would probably be very very good so we're gonna try that and I think it's a cream cheese like a, the Russian cream cheese so I'm trying to make this video quick because I gotta take the dogs out so but I wanted to go at least, at least get this started this tea because the water was so hot and yes if there's anybody British watching my video I'm sorry yes I do squeeze my tea bags my tea bag off to the side tea looks so good I love this tea and it smells good see god it smells good and this is the sugar really pack it in there I'm gonna rip this open over the sink because I can't get it to all come down okay it's a lot of sugar you need about half of it because yes I like my tea sweet Actually, on hot days, I prefer my tea very, very sweet and very, very ice cold. So, let me go over here again and check on what's over here on the stove. Yes, they are warming quite well. Quite well. They are warming through. One of the front seems to be warming a lot, a lot faster than the one on the back. Okay, I'm going to try these things real quick, and then, by then, hopefully those will be done. So, I'm going to take a little cracker here, and I'm going to just, oh, I tell you what, fruit flies were not in here until I started pulling out food. This cheese looks like so. I think this is their version of the, uh cream cheese, but it smells very good. It smells very, very different than the last time. Mmm, and it's good. Mmm. I just gotta try something. Very bland, though. There's not much seasoning in it. I'm gonna dip this in this little greasy-looking stuff first. Mmm. Mmm. I think that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Or at least, if not, that's what I'm going to do. That's where you get the flavor from. I'm going to smear a little bit of this cheese right here. Mmm. 
and this has got carrots, it looks like, um, I know there's carrots, and there's onions, and there's um, green pepper, I want to say, I'm not sure, but I know that there's carrots and onions, I see onions, but I'm going to try it like this. I'll do that. Looks very good. Looks like a little hors d'oeuvre. That is very good. And I'll be honest with y'all. I was very scared. About this menu. About doing the Russian one. I didn't have a very good experience last time. But. Those two I think are supposed to go together. I don't know if any of y'all have ever had southern pimento cheese but the two of those together kind of taste like pimento cheese and it's good mm. aside from uh, this being very very hot it is very 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 good so Check here in one second. Put an ice cube in here and try to cool it off. Just a little bit. My ice melted fast. That's very hot. I'm going to check on my food. Okay, that's hot and that's hot. are both beef. Yeah, they're both beef. I did do a Google Translate, but I'll be honest, I can't remember which one was what. I do know which one the kasha was, though. So, we're going to see. I think one of these had some vegetables in it. That got very hot. Very quick. Almost to where I can't. You know what? I'm just going to use my knife. There is a, hmm, there is a, um, beef thing that, hmm, somebody got, it was like a big chunk of meat, it almost looked like brisket in one of these, and I'm hoping it's, so far, it looks like it, with the, the way this greasy stuff's coming out of it. I pray to God that's what it is, because it looks so good. It was like this real fatty, perfectly cooked um, beef. I think this is it. I pray this is it. Because uh, when I saw that, I was like, I'm planning on doing a Russian one tonight. And they did a I I can't remember who it was I watched. Yep, that's it. Hallelujah. Very greasy. Very hot. There we go. There it is. It is the big pieces of um, beef chunks. Can y'all see that? I don't want to pick it up too much because it's hot. But can y'all see? And it, it looks very good. So, But I don't need all that grease. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do what the video I watched did. And just pick up. The, yep, that's the same stuff. I'm so glad I, and it smells so good I man I wish I had smell of vision so y'all could get a smell of this see now this is the kind of Russian food that I can dig right here it smells good looks like he's got his own greasy gravy in it I think there's supposed to be like a bay leaf in here I think he said I don't see if they put one in mine no. god that looks so good that looks so good I gotta go ahead and try this look how Look how tender this is. No, um, uh uh.
Y'all, I got emergencies all over the house right now. The dogs need to go out. My daughter needs me, but I'm going to hurry up and rush through this. But this meat looks so good. Oh. Mmm. Man, I wish I could. Oh, my gosh. That is so stinking good. Let's see which beef one this is. I know the other one I saw, he got like this pit potato thing. It had like carrots and had like little tiny chunks of beef like that in it too. I was kind of hoping to get that one as well. But you know, you get what you get in these. Okay. Not gonna lie. That looks like the wet food that I gave my dog earlier. <laughs> um, but we're still gonna try it because it's got these chunks of peas. That's peas. Peas and beef and carrots. I didn't know what those were at first. That's right. Okay, so this is the one that's got the peas and the beef in it. And I can smell the peas. And the beef that's in it, again, looks exactly like the, the, the beef that's right here. So, But this has also got peas and carrots in it as well. Ooh, there's a big chunk of beef. I don't know what they do to, to um, cook this meat like this. But it smells so good. I'm going to hold this up so y'all can see it because it has cooled off a little bit. But you see there's peas and um, carrots and little pieces of onion um, and big chunks of beef, which are almost exactly like this. And this does not need salt, pepper, or anything. It's very, very good. So I want to try to get... A little, ooh, that looks like a piece of tomato. I think there's tomato in here too, y'all. Hmm. And this girl right here loves some tomatoes. It might not be tomato. I think it's part of the beef. But we're going to try it. Let's see. I hope I like this too. Because I really like that. That's good. That is very good. It's not as good as this. But it's still very good. This right here though, y'all. Mm, let me tell you. Again, this is so good. Mm. This is like the best brisket ever. It's, look at how it's just falling apart, y'all. It's so stinking good. This is a good supper. Mm -mm -mm. Very good. I, I, I like these Russian crackers, huh? They're very hard, but they're good. And this, let me tell you, it's like a vegetable chutney. You know, I've had a mango chutney. Sorry, my daughter's standing right here. It, I've had a mango chutney before. Like, over some, uh, like, uh, broiled salmon look very similar to that but this is vegetables mm. I'll tell you this has really changed my mind on the Russian menus I've got the grease the grease in these menus is My tea is still very, very hot. Can y'all see that? <laughs> that ice didn't do any good. <clears throat> I love that tea. <coughs> that. This is not my favorite, but it's, it is good. <clears throat> But to be quite honest with you, I think my personal favorite out of this whole part of this 24-hour menu, my favorites, would this would be the number one favorite. I love the crackers. And the cheese by itself 
is good, but it's very, very bland. Like, it doesn't taste like American cream cheese, but it, it, it kind of looks like American cream cheese. Um, but this, I think, is meant to go with this as, like, toppers for the crackers, which I could be wrong, but to me personally, that tastes the best. So I'm going to take another bite of this. I mean, that's not bad. But the thing is, they give you salt and pepper. And so far, I haven't needed it on anything. Let me tell you something. When I go to Cracker Barrel restaurant, for those who maybe not from North from North Carolina, but from the States or don't know what Cracker Barrel restaurant is. They cook a lot of Southern food. Their pot roast looks almost exactly like this. And that is one of my favorite things on their menu. And theirs falls apart just like that. And that is what this reminds me of. That is the closest thing that I can tell you that that reminds me of. But I wanted to go ahead and get a quick video up. This is so good. Oh. Mm -mm. Y'all, look at how tender that is. I mean, I'm just going to, look, look at that. It just, it just falls apart. It's so tender. It's so good. But, like I said, I was very, very scared about doing this. And I'm nervous about the kasha in the morning, to be quite honest with you. But I've, I've been researching kasha lately. And there's many different kinds of kasha. I think most or all of them do contain buckwheat, but some have vegetables with it. Some have beef. Um, so that's just from what I have researched. So I think the one that I, think the one that I have is a beef one, beef and buckwheat. I kind of hope it's exactly the same one that I had last time that I didn't warm or fry up on the stove because I think had I cooked it properly, um, I think I probably would have really liked it. So I really hope that the kasha that I have in there is the same or very similar to it so that I can really give it an honest second opinion um, and, and actually cook it right and... Um, fry it up on the stove. That's why I thought, and somebody said, may have been Renee, I can't remember, or Marilyn, or it might have been Nina, I don't know. Um, co comment down below which one of y'all it was that told me that it's fried up on the stove for breakfast with an egg, or with a fried egg, or I guess with scrambled eggs on the side or something, and it, it's a really good breakfast, but you've got to fry it up in a pan on the stove. So, tomorrow morning, y'all are going to watch me at my stove cooking kasha so oh i'm so grateful that i got this this is really good though i just think i'd like it better without all the peas it is loaded with peas but this right here mm. so this is very very good I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm going to save a couple bites for Scotty so that he can try it. By the way, my last video that I put up was the Canadian IMP menu number 12 pulled pork. It was a 2018. Um, I just want y'all to know that the uh, date bar um, and the uh, sweet and salty almonds did not go to waste. My kids devoured them. So on top of the remainder of my uh, Reese's Pieces, uh, they wouldn't let mommy have any more. They uh, destroyed them for me. So, But thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you again to Miss Marilyn Skull for purchasing this and gifting it to me. Um, I'm very grateful for it, and I'm I am so happy that that came in. Oh, God, I, when I saw somebody reviewing it, y'all just have no idea. It's like, oh, it was drooling. It's like, God, that looks so good. So, also, um, 
want to say thank you again for or to uh, Art Nina at foreignmre.com because they are the ones that uh, Miss Marilyn purchased this from. And if you guys want to go purchase any or are looking for foreign MREs, MR, uh, foreignmre.com is the best place to go get them. They've got great prices. They've got great customer service. Art and Nina are just, they're just wonderful people. Um, you just really need to go check them out. Um, tell them Country Girl sent you. So thank you very much. Please like, share, and subscribe. And y'all come back now, you hear?